What's going on, Planet Poke viewers? Welcome back to Platinum Version, and I'm still here inside the Galactic Headquarters where we left off last week. And here's just a quick little look at my team. So, my top three Pokemon here, Driftblim, Torterra, and Floatzel, all need to get up levels. So, yeah, I can either go up the stairs right now, or I can take this warp panel over here. I'm feeling pretty good about the warp panel, so let's take that and brings us to this worthless room, but by the way, what are these things? They just have so many weird little machines throughout this building. For all I know, this is like some crazy nuclear bomb that's just ready to explode, and I'm just walking right past it, I have no idea, but yeah, they have so many random little high-tech machines in this place. Yeah, we got a music change down here, and I'll just sneak past this scientist, and there's the dubious disc right behind him. Apparently he didn't see me grab it there, but... Um, that's good news for you if you have a Porygon 2, trade it with the Dubious Disc, and it will evolve into Porygon Z! Yeah, our headquarters is a state-of-the-art facility. A snot-nosed kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Whoa, man, I might have dirty hands, okay, I give you that, but everyone's got snot in their nose. What do you want me to do about it? Anyways, this dude's got a Curly on his team, so... Yeah, pretty good matchup for my Ghost-type, Zeppy. And I'll just throw a Shadow Ball at this Curlia, which could be evolved 10 levels ago, but... Yeah, scientists like to use X items a lot. He's gonna use an X Defend, but... Yeah, that's good for Curlia. Curlia has bad defense, but... Not really gonna help out with a special attack like Shadow Ball. So yeah, that Curlia's gonna go down, and... Yeah, I didn't use any potions on Drifblim, but the Shell Bell kind of heals him up by itself, so not bad. And almost at level 38, and next is Kadabra, so I'll stay in for this. Yeah, pretty nice when you get two Pokemon that you're super effective against in a row. It's almost like I planned it out and knew it the whole time or something, but... Yeah, I'm gonna get hit, hit by a Thunder Wave here, which is reasonable, Kadabra's pretty fast, but... Hopefully I'm not fully paralyzed here, and this Shadow Ball will easily take it out. So yeah, a couple of Psychic types right there, not too big of an issue though. Both on their second stage, so nothing too crazy. Um, but that will definitely get Driftblum up to level 38. And now I'm almost full on health again, so that's pretty nice. Shell Bell for the win. Um, but yeah, well, did I just get plus, yeah, plus 5 HP. I'm loving that plus 5 every time I get up a level. Pretty awesome when you have 172 hit points and you're only at level 38. You and your Pokemon weren't part of my calculations. Well, I don't know what you were calculating, man, but maybe that would have been some useful information for you. Um, but yeah, I need to use a, uh, well, I do have a Paralyzed Seal, but you know what? I'm feeling a little bit nicer. I want to give my Drift Bloom a treat, because I do have 20 Lava Cookies, and yeah, Lava Cookies, Full Heals, they do the exact same thing, but Lava Cookies are a little more tasty, so I'll give my Zeppi one of those to cure that paralysis, and... Let's see, I'm gonna put uh, Luroy up to the front now that Zeppi's up a level. So yeah, let's continue down the stairs here and we'll get another music change. And now we're back downstairs in this sketchy little area. Yeah, and what's, what's with this mysterious water on the ground that doesn't make any splashing sounds? What is this black magic? But uh, oh there's a Galactic Grunt. Good thing he doesn't see me. I'm still a stealthy ninja and there's TM36 Sludge Bomb. Um, yeah, that's like your ideal poison type move. Really good special attack. Um, I'm too lazy to even think in my mind if any of my Pokemon can learn this, so I'll just check it out, but... Yeah, not a bad poison type. Um, not a bad poison type move. Only Vulcan can learn it, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, poison is only super effective against grass, and I'm already a fire type, so... Sludge Bomb's not always too useful unless you have a poison type, but... Yeah, right here, this item, it is the Galactic Key! Yeah, the one key that you need to get through this place, just sitting right there! All this guy had to do was make sure no one walked by and took it! And I walked right by him and took it! And he's still failing at his job, he still doesn't see me. Yeah, what's going on, dude? Um, well yeah, he's gonna give you some little clues about Master Cyrus. He says you want to go into the Galactic Veilstone building, and through the door by the reception counter, he's like, what did I do with that key anyways? Where's it gone? Yeah, where could that key go? Maybe it's just like laying right over here by these boxes. Yeah, whatever. Well, now I have the Galactic Key, I can do anything. Yeah, there's always, they pick the crappiest guy. Every team of villains always picks the crappiest guy to keep track of the key. Just get one smart guy that can put it in his pocket and remember where it is, man. 
But yeah, now I'm gonna retrace my steps back to the front because, um... Oh, this thing's gonna blow! Watch out! But yeah, I'm gonna retrace my steps back because... Uh, yeah, there's a couple more trainers I can fight plus, um... An item or two to grab, so... You, what do you want? The locked doors only open with a special key. Now, if I was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell you. But I really don't know. Well, good thing there are other comedy relief bad guys that are stupid enough to give me all the information I need, including the key. Um, but yeah, I'll battle you now. People really have a hard time, like, actually seeing me walk by. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm too young for the changing times. I should just stand back and let Team Galactic handle everything. Well, I know you guys have some smart men on the job, so I should definitely put my trust in y'all. Oh, um, but he's got a Stunky! Yeah, another good matchup here. It's almost like I planned it once again. Maybe I just knew what Pokemon the first two trainers had. I don't know, that'd be crazy. Um, but here's my Quick Claw, which is always nice. And Stunky does not ch stand a chance against this Earthquake. Yeah, that Stunky really needed that TM for Sludge Bomb. Might have helped him out a lot. Especially against Luroy here, but... Yeah, Earthquake's gonna completely demolish it, so... Nice job there. And that's his only Pokemon. And he's gonna say my power was unfathomable. Yeah, it truly was, man. Now let's see what's down here. More explosive devices. Yeah, this guy does not see me at all. And true alert! There's something smelly about you. Maybe it's this galactic key I've got in my pocket, man. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this galactic grunt running all over the place looking for intruders. He's got a Murkrow, so... Yeah, not really a good matchup for Torterra. Man, I'm getting tired of having to switch out for every flying type. I need, like, another move that works for them, but I'm just gonna go over to Floatzel. I think Floatzel did a pretty good job of taking out the last Murkrow, so... Yeah, I trust him to get the job done. He's gotta take an Assurance, though. Alright, not too bad. Let's surf this thing! Let's flood this entire Galactic building! Yeah, that's how we're gonna take care of Team Galactic. Just use Surf all across the entire building. And lock all the doors with the Galactic Key. Um, so some split experience there, not bad, and we have a Stunky to finish things off, so I'm just gonna stay in since I'm already in here. And I'm sure Surf would also do the job, but I also have Dig, so let's use that, it's super effective. And I get to use my attacking stat, which is better. And Slash is gonna miss because I'm underground, so we'll come back up for the kill here. And this Stunky's actually at a higher level than me. Wow, he's technically supposed to be a better Pokemon, that's kind of pathetic. Alright, there we go, we took him down. Oh, that was my own Pokemon smell. Yeah, I wasn't the one smelling funny, that was just your Stunky. I mean, you do have a skunk on your team. But yeah, this guy's kind of calm now, he's not running around like crazy anymore. I guess I ruined his day or something. Um, but yeah, let's use the Galactic Key to sneak in right here. Yeah, does anyone see me doing this? Apparently no one knows I have the key yet, but this room's kind of crazy. A lot of stuff going on in here. Um, and TM21 Frustration, kind of a crappy move. I don't think I've ever actually used Frustration. Um, in the same way that Return gains power with higher friendship, Frustration uh, gains power with lower friendship. So, if you're a real jerk to your Pokemon and they hate you, then teach them Frustration. It might do a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna go back out to the very front of this place. I think I cleared out this entire area that I can cover right now, so... Yeah, I'll run all the way back here. Now that I have the Galactic Key, I can go through the very front instead of going, you know, underground through the, um, storage room, so. Yeah, and if you remember that one guy said we need to go to the, um, what is it, the door right next to the reception counter, so. Should be pretty easy to remember, and I should have used an escape rope, that would have been a lot quicker, but. I'm already, like, over halfway there, so I'll just finish it off. Um, but yeah, basically, mission accomplished. We came in here, we got the Galactic Key, and now we're heading out. Yeah, in two videos, we get the Storage Key and the Galactic Key. They really need to take better care of their keys, man. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna bike over here. Flawlessly, and I'm walking right through the front door. That's right, Team Galactic. I've got the key, I'm coming for you. And here's the door right by the reception desk, and... Yeah, let's use the Galactic Key in front of everyone. Did anyone see that? Am I off the hook? I'm walking right through the front door, with their key. How does no one see me right now? But, whatever man, no one's coming after me, and it looks like we got a double battle to start off in here, so... Um, you know what, Luroy and Driftblum makes- that makes a pretty good team, so let's- Oh, come on man, you ruined my double battle plan! Well, whatever. My trailblazing will go out in a blaze of glory right now! 
Yeah, that sounds pretty epic. Well, I'm kind of mad that you ruined my double battle, but whatever I'll take you on anyways, Galactic Grunt. Oh, great, he has a gold bat. The one thing I did not want to see with Luroy up front. Literally any flying type just ruins it for me. And I have a few Pokemon that can take out Golbat, but Houndoom is probably my favorite. Even though he's already at level 41, um, he's the best at taking down Golbat, so... Yes, I'm confused! Perfect! You know, I wish I could just start every battle already being confused. That would just make my day right there. But I'll try to hit him with a Fire Blast. Hopefully I don't hit myself in confusion. And, yeah, of course, whatever. <laughs> as long as I don't get poisoned by Poison Fang, I won't complain too much. I won't yell at the microphone too much, but, uh... Let's try this again! Second time's the charm. Apparently not. I guess third time's the charm. And now an Air Cutter, so even more damage. Yeah, I'm just getting dominated right now. Alright, last chance! Yes, I snapped out! That was some pretty good luck right there. I needed that. So, hopefully that Fire Blast will take this Golbat down. Darn it! Oh, but he's gonna use Mean Look! Wow! You could have ended it right there! That was your chance, and you're gonna use Mean Look! Oh, now I can't escape! What am I gonna do? Yeah, I'll finish you with a bite! That's what I'm gonna do! So, that's gonna take down the Golbat. Luroy is also gonna get up a level, level 39. And that's when, um, Torterra learns Synthesis. I'm gonna pass on Synthesis. It's a move with 5 power points that will boost up your HP, 50%, but... I have potions, so what's the point? Um, Vulcan's almost dead, so I'm gonna take him out, and I'm gonna go back to Floatzel for this one. Yeah, Captain's probably my good number two option for fighting Golbats. So yeah, I really need to... Maybe I should just put Blizzard on Floatzel, I don't know. It helped out quite a bit with all these flying types, but... For now, Surf gets the job done, though, so... And it did about half, but... Gotta take a wing attack now. Jeez, I'm just getting all kinds of damage put on me by these... Go oh, crap, crap, crap. I did not mean to use Swift. Total accident. Total... A oh, and now I'm confused. Now I gotta pay the punishment. This is horrible, dude. All right. You're gonna pull through for me this time, Captain. Not like Vulcan. One for one. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Another serve. All right. I needed a little bit of luck right there to get out of these Golbat battles. Why does everyone need to use Golbats? I hate them so much. They're my least favorite ever, possibly, I don't know. A lot of Pokemon I hate, but they're high up there on the list. Um, and I don't even know what I'm gonna do for this trainer. I'll just, I could keep Luroy up, hopefully. Hopefully there's no more Golbats, I don't know, but I still got Zeppi, so. Yeah, I'll go ahead and fight this trainer now. See what she's got to say. You should be tired out by now. Yeah, I'm a little tired out, but not quite enough. I still have a lot of Moo Moo Milk, so I'm ready for that at any time. Oh, and she has a Golbat. This is just great. I hope it just knows four moves, and I hope they're all Confuse Ray. I just hope all four move slots are just Confuse Ray, Confuse Ray, Confuse Ray, Confuse Ray. But yeah, I'm going to switch out here. This time, I have no other choice but to go to Zeppi because everyone else is dying on me. It's these, it's these Golbats, man. Um, here's a Poison Fang, and at least, at least it didn't poison me, that's good. Zeppi already got paralyzed, he doesn't need to deal with that too. Yeah, I'm gonna try to fly on it, see how much that does. Ooh, mean look! Yeah, I can't see you way up here, you can't use a mean look. Um, fly should do about half, Yeah, not bad. Maybe I'll use a Shadow Ball for the second one to take it out. Um, Poison Fang again! Yeah, I'm not in the mood for this man. I'm not in the Oh, and I'm poisoned! Yeah, Zeppi's just taking a beating today with the status impairments, but... Let's go Shadow Ball. I think I have, like, the Shadow Tag on him, so... Should make it a little bit more powerful. That boosts it up 20%, so... Yeah, it's actually probably more powerful than Fly for Zeppi right now. Um, but some more ex HP back with the Shell Bell, some experience points, and I'm poisoned still, so... I guess that means you get more cookies after the battle, more lava cookies. And for Houndoer, let's go back over to Floatzel. Even though Captain's almost down, um, he'll be able to take out Houndoom in one shot. Or Houndoer, not Houndoom. Yeah, that's right, you're not cool enough to be a Houndoom yet. Even though that's like, what, level 26 or something? You could have done that a long time ago, but this Surf, I'm sure, will put it out, so. Yeah, three Goldats and a Houndoer. That's a fun double battle if you actually managed to not run into the first trainer, but 
Yeah, that's gonna get me to level 39, so I'm really close to level 40 with a lot of my Pokemon, and I just got plus zero defense. My defense is so bad, but... Um, I'm gonna learn Whirlpool, another Pokemon, learning a new move at level 39. Whirlpool's not that good, it's... It's inaccurate, and it's it hits them like two to five turns every time for like 15 damage or whatever. I mean, not 15 hit points, but the damage power is 15, so it's a really weak move is basically what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to teach it Whirlpool. Not interested. It takes too long, and I'm poisoned right now. Holy crap. All right, I hope you like the taste of these lava cookies, because they are fresh. Actually, they're not fresh. I got them a long time ago, but... Yeah, now Zeppi's magically cured of the poison. What do they put in those cookies, man? Um, but it looks like they have a couple warp panels over there, and... We've got a scientist watching TV in here! Yeah, let's be TV buddies. Oh, he's actually gonna battle me. Okay, well, I didn't expect that. I thought this guy was just taking it easy, kicking back, watching TV, but no, he wants to battle. And Darius... Yeah, you don't look like a Darius, but... He's got a Porygon, too! I bet you wish you had this dubious disc, man! Um, Porygon 2 is... Yeah, it's like the computer Pokemon. It's not even real. I can't feel bad about killing this thing. Um, but yeah, more X items again with them. Yeah, I guess Porygon 2 is a more defensive, um, Pokemon than Porygon Z. It actually loses defense and special defense when it evolves, and... Wow, that was a critical hit and it still lives! So yeah, that shows you how much defense it has right there. Um, but basically with Porygon Z, you're sacrificing some defense to get a whole lot of special attack and a whole lot of speed, so you become a pure attacking sweeper, and Porygon Z is one of my favorites, awesome normal type Pokemon, so I'd recommend it, Scientist Darius, you should evolve yours. Um, but yeah, we have three warp panels to choose from to continue along here, but for now I'm just going to take it easy, and yeah, that's right, face the TV this way so we can be TV watching buddies. Alright, now I'm nice and comfortable, and I'm ready to relax for one more week, but we will be back here next Friday on Planet Poke to finish up the Galactic Headquarters. So thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see you all next time.